This is Bruce Bishop for ChronicleT.com. We're back for week number 10 with Tim Alcorn from AM930WEOL. Week 10. Hard to believe. Unbelievable. Uh, yeah, the end of the regular season, uh, Friday night. Now let's hope uh, that there's a lot more football to be played. But certainly uh, 10 weeks always flies by as far as high school football regular season is concerned. So looking forward to uh, putting the wrap on the regular season and then talking about and uh, covering a lot of playoff football. Uh, weeks 11, let's hope wait, right through week 15. Sounds good. All right, Tim, so we're going to talk a little bit later about where we are today as we continue our tour around this campus. I did notice you looking at some headphones. We'll talk about those, <laughs> the brand of choice for Tim Elkhorn later on. Yeah, very cool to be here at the Lorraine County Community College Bookstore. Uh, and as you said, we'll talk about it uh, a little bit further, but uh, our tour continues, and this is one of the really cool spots here at LCC. Right on. Okay, last week, lots of big games, and uh, some more people got those playoff spots just like you thought they might. Yeah, we mentioned a couple of big games last week that were taking place. Uh, of course, uh, the one that we had covered on WEOL on the radio side, uh, it was Firelands hosting Black River. Turned out to be a tremendous football game. Uh, Black River built an early lead. Firelands came roaring back. And then the Pirates end up winning the football game 27-25. to And I had mentioned uh, I thought the winner of that game would clinch a playoff spot. That's exactly what happened. Uh, Black River is is now in postseason play. Uh, another big game, and this turned out to be a phenomenal contest. Olmstead Falls at Avon Lake. What a great battle it was. Goes into overtime. Olmstead Falls takes the lead in overtime. Avon Lake then responds, but then they go for two in the win, and they came up a little bit short. So Olmstead Falls gets a big win in the SWC. That win by the Bulldogs clinches a playoff spot for them. And then another game that certainly had a lot of implications, Bedford and Lorraine. And we talked about this one, two 7-1 and one teams going at it over at Bedford High School. Boy, Dave McFarland's club gave a great effort. But hats off to Bedford. They came roaring back from a big deficit and then a wild one. They knocked off the Titans 54-48. to Lorraine now, drip, uh, now drops to number eight in their region in Division One. I. I think a, a win this week by Lorraine will still put them in the playoffs. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But, boy, those were three big games that unfolded last Friday night. And then, of course, uh, an individual performance that we want to mention. What? What an effort by Shamari Williams of North Ridgeville High School. He is now uh, on the list as the fifth all-time individual game rusher as far as Lorain County is concerned. He piled up 372 yards on 40 carries against the Westlake Demons. So he is now in that number five spot all-time as far as an individual game running the football in Lorain County. Ironically, uh, North Ridgeville now holds two of those top five positions. Demario McCall, who of course now plays for the Buckeyes at Ohio State, uh, he has that number one spot as far as uh, the greatest game ever individual rushing wise. But Shamari Williams now sits at number five. So congratulations to him. North Ridgeville with a 37 to 30 overtime win against Westlake and Shamari Williams led the way. What a great individual performance. That sounds good. All right, any other games you want to talk about from last week? Or are we ready to move on to the uh, the upcoming action this week? I think uh, we're ready to move on. Uh, as I said, uh, Olmstead Falls has now punched their ticket to the playoffs, as has Black River. So it's time to see who else uh, may be getting into postseason play. We mentioned uh, last week Avon has clinched their spot, so they are in. Uh, Black River, with their win, is now in. So that gives you two Lorraine County teams. Although we've mentioned before, Black River sits right on that uh, Lorraine-Medina County border. I think half of their kids are in Lorraine County. The other half live in Medina County. So uh, they get claimed by each county. But hats off to Al Young and his team, uh, another postseason appearance. And certainly, uh, if you want to call them bubble teams, uh, there are several teams this week that certainly uh, can punch their ticket to postseason play as well, Bruce. Okay. Where are you going to be? Well, we've got a busy week uh, coming up uh, on WEOL. One of the teams uh, that appears to be a, a win and get in type of scenario would be Firelands. Firelands off that loss to Black River last Friday night currently sits at number eight in their region. They are hosting the Keystone Wildcats. So Firelands still with a great opportunity to get to a postseason berth. They would have to knock off Keystone on Friday night. So that will be our radio game. Our Stream 2 game on WEOL.com and on the WEOL mobile app features Midview at Avon Lake. 
cool thing for the Midview Middies, they control their own destiny. Again, if you go to joeidle.com, it's a great website, uh, and the computer points are right up to the minute. Uh, control your own destiny means if you win, you definitely get in. That's the scenario for Midview on Friday night. So Midview uh, will be at Avon Lake. And that will be our radio game. So the radio game will be Midview at Avon Lake. Uh, the Stream 2 game will be that Keystone and Firelands matchup. And then there are several other teams, Bruce, uh, that are kind of hanging as far as uh, postseason aspirations are concerned. We mentioned Lorraine had a tough loss last week against Bedford. Lorraine takes on Shaw this Friday night. Lorraine, with a win, would be in. Uh, there may be a, a, a few weird things that could happen that would knock Lorraine out. But if Lorraine were to win, in all likelihood, they would get to postseason play. A team that I'm really happy for as far as postseason aspirations, Clearview. Lost their week one opener to the Amherst Comets. They have roared back, and they have now won eight straight football games. Clearview's in the same region that Firelands is in. Firelands is sitting at number eight. Clearview is sitting at number seven. Uh, Clearview, a weaker opponent for week 10 as far as Brooklyn is concerned, but I think Clearview with a win would still be able to get to a postseason berth. So you've got Clearview needing to win to get in, Firelands needing to win, Lorraine needing to win. If Avon Lake were to knock off Midview on Friday night, again, the radio game on WEOL, they would have an outside shot. A lot of things would still need to happen positively for Avon Lake, but if they can pull the upset, uh, they have some hopes. And another team still clinging to playoff life would be the Columbia Raiders. They had a tough setback last Friday night. Uh, they lost one, and now they've got to bounce back to take on Oberlin this week. They're currently sitting at number eight in their region. I think even if they win, it's an outside shot, but we'll see if the Raiders can get it done. All right, sounds good. So we're close to Thinky Cap time. Uh oh. I do have Thinky to say, Cap in the bookstore. I know. Before we get to that, this is the first time out here where I've been a little distracted. I'm kind of a technophile, I'll admit it. There's the, the iPad Pro back there. There's the uh, the big Apple monitors. It's a nice place. We were we were talking to Steve Sefcheck before we started here about the fact that uh, as far as the state of Ohio is concerned, uh, community college bookstores, this is the only Apple authorized store in a community college in the state of Ohio. How cool is that? And only six in the country community colleges. So think about that. Uh, this is really cool. Again, the, the tour has been phenomenal in the uh, nine weeks that we've been coming here to LCC. So uh, Apple authorized store in a college bookstore, the only one in a community college in the state of Ohio. That is really, really neat. Yeah, good stuff. It's nice. It's pretty too. Yeah, and um, I do have my eye on some headsets. I, I'm sure you do. Yeah, skull <laughs> and my ears. Everything, right? My ears on some headsets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So this is our thinking cap for the question. Our right. thinking cap question for the week. All right. All right, so we're coming down week 10. Who's making it? How many teams from our area are going to be in the show at the end of this? Well, that's a great question. Uh, we've got uh, a lot of big games on Friday night that will determine the fortunes of Lorraine County High School football teams. As we've said, Avon's a lock. They are in. They've got a home game, so we know that. Uh, Black River, if you claim them as a Lorraine County team. I'll say Lorraine County ends up with Five, I think we'll get five, maybe six, but uh, I, I think five is a pretty safe bet. I think Lorraine County will be well represented as far as a week one of high school football playoffs is concerned. So that's a tremendous showing. If we can get five in the first round of the playoffs, uh, I think that speaks very, very well for the quality of high school football here in Lorraine County. All right, thinking cap bonus question. Bonus! Does one of them make it to the top? Make it to the top. Going all the way? All the way. Wow. Well, we're going to have to sift through this a little bit. I think the team with the best opportunity to make a real deep run would be the Avon Eagles. I mean, they're ranked number one in the state of Ohio in Division II, uh, one of the premier coaches in our area, if not the entire state, and Mike Elder. So I would think uh, Avon has a chance to go quite a ways. Now, that being said, uh, their region – uh, in Division Two, it's it's pretty stacked. There's some good opponents in there, like Midview, like Homestead Falls, like Highland. R Wadsworth is, from what I understand, a phenomenal team. So it wouldn't be uh, an easy road to hoe for the Avon Eagles. But I, I think they have a good shot to go a long way. And I said a few weeks ago, I believe, <laughs> during this video shoot, I think Lorraine's a Final Four team. They may have to go on the road a couple of times, but uh, I still like Lorraine's chances. Uh, they have to bounce back from that tough setback to Bedford, but 
that's a quality football team with one of the great head coaches in our area in Dave McFarland. So that's that's at least what I'm thinking right now. Okay. All right. Well, hey, we're back for at least one more. Uh, we'll yep. be talking playoffs. Indeed. we got a lot to talk about as far as high school football, so we're not done. One more reminder about Lorraine County Community College. Spring registration has begun. So, uh, again, if you're thinking about spring classes here at Lorraine County Community College, uh, spring registration, it's underway. So, uh, again, the, the wealth of opportunities that they offer here are just incredible. So if you're thinking about classes in the spring, LCCC, that's the place to be. And, again, great place to be right here in the bookstore. Check it out. All right, let's get out of here. You have some headphones to buy. All right, thanks, Bruce. See ya.